For more tutorials, videos, and reviews, check out creatingtracks.com. Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com. Today we're going to take a look at exporting each one of these sounds from this group to individual tracks in Ableton. And this is the loop I'm working with, so check it out. All right, so last time we took our groups and routed them to individual tracks in Ableton. And this time we're going to do that to all our sounds inside of this group. So I have 16 sounds in this group. And if I zoom out over here, you can see that I have all these sounds. So I need to create 16 tracks in Ableton. But, sorry about that. But in this case, not all of these tracks are playing sounds. So I have three over here that are empty. Then I have two more. So that's five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to create 16 minus eight, which is eight tracks. So I'm going to go here, right click on the side, insert track, look at my shortcut, and command T for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to select all of those and hit tab. And then on the bottom right, if your input output is not turned on, you can turn it on. And you can also select all of your tracks from this window. So select one and then select the last one. And then in the input, we're going to select machine two. And in the input from where in machine two, we're going to select two for this one. So I'm going to give the first channel available. And then I'm going to do three for this because this one has two and this one should get the next one. And then four, five, six, and nine. And then I can hit tab again and go back to my machine track. And in here, we'll tell each one of these sounds to go to their individual tracks inside of machine. So you can select all of them by shift selecting. But before that, make sure you're in your channel input output button over here. Or on your machine studio, you can hit the channel button on the top left, which will take you to this input output window. So let's hit that. And then in your output, make sure you're in your sound tab, not in your group tab. So in the sound tab, we're going to send all these sounds out from machine to the individual inputs that we assigned in Ableton. So this input right here, and we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine inputs for these eight channels because it starts at two. So I'm going to do the same thing for individual tracks over here. So make sure you're in your audio tab and you can navigate by hitting these arrows on your machine, the left, right. So in the audio tab, I'm going to change this destination for the kick to external two. And remember that external one is for your machine track, which is the master machine track. So we don't want that. We want it to go to two, which we assigned uh, to our track in Ableton. And then the snare, I'm gonna send that to three. And then the clap, I'll send it to four. And you can click on your machine and do the same thing. So the next one goes to five. And then this one is empty, so I'm not gonna touch that. And then the next available sample, I will send that one to six. And then this one goes to seven and eight. Sorry, I'm making you watch all of this, but it's kind of important as well. So nine. And now we have all of our sounds routed to those tracks in Ableton. So if I turn off my machine right now, so if I turn off this track and I hit play, you can see that there's gonna be no audio. That's because they're being routed to each one of these tracks, but the tracks are turned off. So let's select all of them, click on the in over here. And then if I play, and as you can see, all of these sounds are now being routed to individual tracks in Ableton. And all you have to do next is shift select all of these tracks and hit this record button, go to the start of your timeline and hit your main record button over here. All right, and now that you've done recording it, you can select all of these tracks again and hit the record button again and then change it from in to auto, and then you can hear your waveforms. 
So you have your kick drum over here, and then your snare, and all these individual tracks over here. So this is a really quick and efficient way to bring your sounds from machine to Ableton and then mix them inside of Ableton. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for a lot more, and we will see you next time. Peace!